Alright guys, so we are back for a news update for the uh, global side of Dokkan Battle. Uh, before we start that though, I did want to mention a couple things. Uh, first off, I am in the middle of the world tournament. I am trying to grind myself up to get the Dragon Stones at least. Because uh, I haven't gotten to that point yet in terms of the mission rewards. I'm not trying to place, if you haven't been following me, I am not trying to place in the world tournament. I am just trying to get the mission rewards because that honestly that agility based on Vegito doesn't appeal to me too much. I have better units I can use as support and he has no other unique uh, attributes to him other than he is a good support unit. So uh, I have way more than enough support units for my team. Uh, outside of that guys, uh, JP side is getting a, da a data download as well. They're going into maintenance on the 14th, which is tomorrow. Uh, it should be tonight for most of us. I don't know the exact date. I didn't do the, the time. We actually have a countdown, so uh, start time countdown timer. So nine hours, 17 minutes from the time I'm recording this. I'm recording this at 10 o'clock in the morning. Here you go. You can probably see this a little bit better now. It's currently 10 a.m. Eastern time, which is 7 a.m. or almost 8 a.m. Pacific time. So we have about nine hours before the maintenance starts. So if you guys are wondering about that, check your time. Uh, it's going to happen. You can go over to the Reddit. Uh, first off, shout out to the Reddit for server maintenance on the 14th. Uh, that's where you can get the, the countdown timers for it. Uh, go over to the Reddit, best source for information. Also, dbz.space has great information as well. Uh, fact being said, guys, we have a data download on the global side for Yo, Sun, Goku, and his friends return. That event is going to be coming out to the global side of Dokkan Battle, which is awesome. Another thing that's coming out really fast on the global side to get us caught up with JP. Uh, if you didn't see that video, go ahead and check it out. I did the Gogeta Janemba video, speculation video. I also talked about how we were going to be going and getting caught up with the JP side of Dokkan Battle. And I, how I believe, personally, think that we'll be at least by... By March, I feel like we'll be fully caught up, if not like probably like a month behind just to get the JP has the edge just a little bit over the global side. But who knows? We'll find out when that happens. Uh, so yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if you want more information like that. So we're going to go over the Tarable event, the mission reward, stuff like that. Uh, first thing about it is Tarable should be available on 11.15, which is in two days, uh, which is Wednesday, which is interesting because I usually do releases on Thursdays. So if it's going to come out on Wednesday, that's cool. It actually works out a little bit better because when I do my weekly grind video. Uh, so that should be available. Tarble's a good unit. I'm going to talk a little bit about him. I will be doing a full in-depth review of the event and the farmable cards. Just know that he is a good orb changer. And Gotenks feeds into the strength and the agility base from Gotenks, which I'll talk about a little bit later in the video as well. And as always, I'll be doing a full uh, overview of all the events to come with this data download as they come out. So uh, yeah, on uh, top of that, we get these new mission rewards. The first one is Clear Hercules Tournament once. That is... This one where you get the actual statues will build the world tournament team so i'll show you how to do that as well once that comes available because i already did the master roshi one with the uh with the with the all girls team so i'll go ahead and do a separate like five minute video of the hercule statue event with that you get the summon ticket which looks like it's going to be available on a banner we don't know what the banner is going to be at this point in time when that comes available i'll make sure to give you guys that news release same thing for this one this one is to clear any doken event one time so you get a, a ticket for that as well which looks to be a separate banner we don't know how it works yet, but one again, when it comes out, I'll let you know. Um, we also have a whole bunch of mission rewards. So one of the first mission rewards is going to be, well, let's see over here. Clear Pan's Secret Adventure for 700 small orbs. This could be strength orbs. Uh, it doesn't say that's strength and other, so right now it might just be strength. We don't know if that's going to be the case. It could be, though. Um, we also have, well, as, as I already told you, you have the, the tickets, uh, the ticket of uh, things you can grab. So that's going to be available. Looks like we can grab three of each. And then there's probably going to be other ways like login bonuses that are, that's going to be available for us to gather more tickets. As I did on the JP side, I'll just save all of them up until the last day. And then I'll do one massive summoning video with you guys. So if you guys want to do that alongside with me, go ahead and do that. I will make sure, uh, we'll make sure that you, when we do the summonings, let me know what you guys pull down in the comments, uh, in that, in that section anyway. Uh, on top of that, uh, Pan Secret Adventure for, we're getting 1,400, or actually, no, 2,100 orbs between clearing all three of them. And it looks like her adventure will be open Friday to Monday. I don't know if it's going to be open twice, or if it's just going to be open once for that entire weekend. We'll find out. That's going to be awesome. 2,100 small orbs. Looks like it's going to be for strength. Uh, it could be others. We're getting 207, or from completing 777 stamina of the large orbs. 500 stamina gives you an Elder Kai. 300 stamina gives you 1,000 small orbs, and 1,000 stamina gives you 10 dragon stones. Uh, and you have some other rewards as well, as you see over here, consuming at least 100 stamina for two stones, uh, it's 10 stamina for one stone, and then you have the quest stages for the Yosan Goku and his friends return. 
Uh, and clear stage one using a fusion category team, so that means you have to grind out the trunks, or the go tanks, I'm sorry, you have to grind out the go tanks, use him as a leader for the fusion category team. Um, I'm assuming you have to have everyone who is fusion category on there. I don't know if you actually need him as a leader, but you, you, might, you may need to. Uh, I'll go over that again when the event comes available. Outside of that, uh, when the event comes available, I'll go over everything in depth. Now, one thing I did want to state, um, I know thank you to the Reddit for letting me know about this information, because I wouldn't have known without you telling me. Uh, so you see this Dokkan Fest over here, if we scroll down, these two events here, the Inimitable Fusion, and a Fiend Possessed, if I pronounced that right, Inimitable. I know this was un inevitable, but it doesn't look like Inevitable. Um, Inimitable Fusion. Uh, we have Stage Super 2 added to it. Granted, it has not been translated yet, but that could be a possibility. A higher possibility now, as if you saw my video on Saturday about the Gogeta and Janemba speculation for coming out this week, high probability now that we can be getting the Gogeta and Janemba event this week, guys. Now, if that's the case, how freaking hyped is that? I'm really, I really hope, I'm happy if we get it. Again, um, I'm probably going to go a little bit harder on the Super Gogeta banner, depending on who's on it, but that's super hype. Uh, one thing I did want to go back and talk about in terms of the rewards over here, uh, I forgot to mention this before, if this is only for strength orbs, I'm going to speculate that that means that we could possibly be getting the LR Frieza event with the fourth stage added, with some additional information about trying to get him maxed out. You know, you know they don't give us all that information right away, but once he gets maxed out, then you can get a whole bunch of stuff reimbursed like we did the LR Goku again. This is just speculation. But if this is for strength only, it would make sense because LR Frieza has not gotten his fourth stage and he's long overdue for that fourth stage. So if that's the case and these are strength only, there's a possibility that LR Frieza could be getting his, his uh, fourth stage added and we can be getting the same thing that LR Goku to max him out to 100%, which would be phenomenal. I'm also, I'm not going to grind out 200% LR Frieza's or two LR freezes to super attack 20. I'm only going to do the one and then just feed other gods into him because bit, damn, I will not go through that grind again. Now, I'm still grinded out from the LR Goku grind. <laughs> but yeah, um, also shout out to the Jiraiya I don't know if I, Jor, Jor, Jorisha say. Anyway, I know I butchered your name. Sorry about that. But thanks for letting me know because if I, I didn't see this post, I wouldn't have known to look there. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and look at the Tarble the Osun Goku and event return real quick as well. Just want to make sure all the pages loaded. Uh, so this is the Tarble. He's going to be farmable, the agility one. You can feed him into the intelligence one if you want. The intelligence one is like not really a good unit, but if you don't want to, if you want to use these ones for like Baba Fodder, so you just feed him up if you're like a collector like I am. He's not good at all. Uh, but <laughs> outside of that, uh, the, the agility one is a decent card. He changes strength key orbs to agility key orbs, which is really useful. Uh, his link skills kind of stink. It would be awesome if they gave him Saiyan Pride, because he would have been perfect for Majin Vegeta at that time. He should have had Saiyan Pride, just my opinion on the matter. Uh, respect should have been tra should have traded out for Saiyan Pride. Uh, but outside of that, because then he would have been a perfect linking bull, almost a perfect linking buddy, minus Super Saiyan, but I mean, whatever. Uh, but anyway... Uh, not the best unit in the game. He is nearly not that great. I'll be doing a full in-depth review later. He's going to be available for stage two of Brotherly Reunion. I recommend getting up to Super Attack 10, and you can go ahead and get Dupez unlocked if you want to Doken Awaken four or five of them. Uh, you don't need to. I don't recommend doing it. Uh, he Doken Awakens and he gives himself a little bit of an attack buff. Now, again, not the best in the in the in the game by any means, but he is an orb changer nonetheless. So you always want to make sure you get those orb changers. So those of you who are lacking orb changer for the agility side, make sure you do that. Uh, the Trunk, or the Go Tanks is also available. He is a Fusion Category Leader, so make sure you grind him out. Uh, you know, he, he's a horrible Fusion Category Leader, but he is a Fusion Category Leader. The biggest thing to note about him is he drops as an SSR with Supreme Damage, which means he's a great free-to-play card. You can get all four dupe hands unlocked without having to unlock the dupe system of him. Uh, he gives himself an attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack. So uh, as long as he's the second or third attacker in the turn, uh, if he gets a super attack off, he will at least be getting that defensive buff. So he'll be tanking damage a little bit better. His defensive stats really kind of stink for that. But I mean, it's still going to be there, especially if you're running him on a fusions team. If you don't have other people to run, he is a lot better, a lot better than the... Uh, the, the skinny tanks, the fat tanks, and the Veku. So, <laughs> you know, utilize him for what you can. Plus, he does feed into the strength and the agility Goten and Trunks, which is the strength one over here, not Goten and Trunks, um, Gotenks. 
uh, and the agility one. One their base forms, make sure to do that. You're going to have to you can use a 50% rate at SSR if you Z awaken him to Ultra Roach. I don't recommend wasting um, your you know resources on, but you can do it for 100%. But feed both of them, get both of them up to Super Attack 10. Let that be your grind fest. Highly recommend doing that. Uh, that's going to be the thing right there. But yeah, so super hype. So a couple of speculation things. Vegeta Janemba should be around the corner. Should be this week. Um, we may be getting LR Freezer's fourth stage. If you guys just get my speculation for all the strength orbs, unless it's going to be all orbs, but it's probably gonna, if it's strength orbs only. Uh, then we are gonna have we should be having an LR Frieza event uh, again just speculation and we have the Gotenks to feed into the other Gotenks which is awesome but yeah guys that is the data download I will be making sure to provide you guys with updates along the way as we get more information make sure to subscribe if you're new here I'll catch you guys later